You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has lauded the unwavering interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the honorary president of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation in charitable and humanitarian work. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also praised the constant support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the RHF, hailing the contributions of the Bahraini people to charitable and humanitarian work. His Highness Sheikh Nasser made the statements marking the release of the World Giving Index 2021 by the London-based charity. Aid Foundation, CAF, which ranked the kingdom the first in the Arab world and the twelfth globally, noting that the milestone was achieved in conjunction with the 20th anniversary of the RHF established to achieve the royal vision for creating a secure society in which everybody enjoys well-being, security and safety. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the landmark achievement reflects His Majesty the King's care for widows and orphans, as well as the efforts of the RHF's keenness to deliver relief and humanitarian assistance in Bahrain and abroad, including donations and development projects such as hospitals and schools, in addition to food and medicines for stricken people and migrants all over the world. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the massive participation in the Fina Khair national campaign by the citizens, companies, banks, associations and residents has contributed to the RHF's success and entitled the kingdom to be ranked among top countries in the giving index for this year. His Highness added that the global honor also reflects the Bahraini society's noble values of giving, solidarity and cohesion, which has enabled it to overcome many challenges. For his part, RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Said indicated that Bahrain has been ranked among top countries in the World Giving Index 2021 thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to charitable work. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's leadership of the RHF, the generosity of the Bahraini people and the efforts of the RHF staff. Dr. Said affirmed that Bahrain has always embraced the humanitarian work and helping others culture through its keenness to support the needy under various circumstances, adding that following His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives and based on Bahrain's deep-rooted culture, the RHF has promoted the humanitarian work culture through preparing a book aimed at instilling the culture in the minds of youngsters. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal has affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's vision and is the basis of Bahrain's charitable and humanitarian methodology, noting that the Kingdom's international achievements add to its rich record of leadership and progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Zainal also lauded the constant support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa to the Kingdom's efforts to enhance Bahrain's humanitarian and relief efforts at the international level. The Speaker made the statements marking the release of the World Giving Index 2020 by the London-based Charities Aid Foundation, which ranked the kingdom the first in the Arab world and twelfth globally. She paid tribute to the Royal Humanitarian Foundation led by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and RHF's Board of Trustees Chairman His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, valuing highly the kind contributions of the citizens, residents and institutions to the Fina Khair National Campaign, reflecting the effective role played by the existing community partnership in boosting the humanitarian and charitable work and consolidating the values of and principles of solidarity solidarity and cooperation, promoting Bahrain's leading role in delivering assistance and development programs locally and abroad. The Speaker expressed pride in the distinguished initiatives and projects launched by the Supreme Council for Women, led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to support the efforts of Team Bahrain and frontline responders in the fight against the novel coronavirus pandemic. She indicated that the global milestone affirms the Bahraini society's deep-rooted culture of supporting humanitarian work in accordance with a modern development vision based on building the individuals and developing their skills and work. She praised the RHF's initiative to compile a book aimed at instilling the humanitarian work culture in the minds of youngsters, noting that the adoption of the book as a school course in Bahrain and many brotherly Arab countries is a distinguished achievement by Bahrain and adds to its pioneering role in promoting the humanitarian work culture. On this occasion, Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh has Saleh congratulated His Majesty the King, noting that this achievement is an indication of the amount of relief and humanitarian efforts provided by the Kingdom to the poor in the world and its initiatives to help those affected by conflicts, wars and natural disasters. As Saleh affirmed that the directives of His Majesty the King, his generous support, great humanity and kindness to all the needy in various friendly and brotherly countries are among the most important factors that have led to this great international achievement which calls for pride and urges everyone to move forward and strive to accomplish the visions of His Majesty in the fields of charitable 
global and humanitarian work. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain being ranked first and twelfth globally on the World Giving Index 2021. Asaleh expressed his pride in this achievement which put the kingdom at the forefront of the most generous countries in providing development aid to the needy everywhere. He sent a congratulatory cable his, to His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing that this achievement came as a result of the unlimited support given to the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. Minister of Housing Engineer Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar has announced that the number of housing finances during the period from January to June amounted to about 14,309 million Bahraini dinars, benefiting more than 284 citizens. The minister stressed that the financing service is one of the options available to citizens to obtain adequate housing without the need of waiting, and it is one of the most prominent axes of the ministry's plan to implement the housing projects included in the government's program. He also affirmed that the ministry operates on easy terms in accordance to the financing system enforced in the Housing Bank as well as resolution number 909 of 2015 regarding the housing system. The minister added that the rate of all kinds of loan payments provided by the ministry over the past years indicates the positive curve of demand for the speedy housing loan service in cooperation with the housing back which reflects the success of the ministry's policy towards meeting the various needs of citizens whether with requests for restoration, purchase or construction. Speaker of Arab Parliament Adil Abdurrahman al Asumi has lauded His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's vision on promoting peace and establishing tolerance and coexistence among people, contributing to achieving rapprochement among cultures and consolidating stability in the Middle East and the world. While chairing a session of the Arab Parliament here, al Asumi extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his dedicated efforts to support the Arab nation and preserve its capabilities. The Arab Parliament Speaker also lauded His Majesty King Hamad's commendable efforts and keenness to enhance joint Arab action in various fields and strengthen relations with other countries. Countries, noting that His Majesty the King's balanced and wise policies have contributed to achieving the success of the Royal Reform Project in the Kingdom. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,050,190 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 959,527 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to record a decrease in the number of existing daily cases of the coronavirus as the Ministry of Health announced the registration of 288 new cases. The Ministry said the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,813 with 788 recoveries, 288 new cases and one death. 158 of the new cases were expatriates, 127 were contacts of active cases and three were travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.